Ready. All right, let's boot it up. I wonder how my villagers are going to react. <laughs> it's been two years since I played this last. Let's see what awaits us. Will my town be a dump, or will it still be relatively spick and span? The save data will now be updated due to the new release version. Um, you already installed and updated it. Oh, okay, cool. Never mind. I thought that was going to be like five minutes. They're too nice. I wish they were like the GameCube Animal Crossing villagers who actually kind of hated you at times, and there was a lot, there was drama. It was great. Not on stream. <laughs> Oh man, it's taking a while. Oh man, it is taking a while. It did not take this long to load before. We gotta load in all the weeds that are in your town. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. There we are. Oh, that's right! Toga Bear! Except he's wearing a sports jersey. I mean, it still looks pretty nice. Still flowers everywhere. I don't see weeds all over the place. Oh, no, my town is still good. I can't remember his name, but that bear used to wear a toga, and he was amazing. I think Klaus. I think his name is Klaus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Here we are. Toga bear. T-O-G-A. Like Roman toga. It had to it had to load for 20 seconds just to get to the title screen. Now it has to load for 20 seconds to get to the Isabel screen, and then it's got to load for 20 seconds to get to the main game. <laughs> I love him too. All, all of my provided none of my villagers moved away. All my villagers were really cool. So I hope they're all still here. Hi, Isabel. Been a while. Good evening, everyone. Right now it's on Lutra. It's 8:10 p.m. on Monday, August 29th, 2022. Now for today's announcements. First, I have an ordinance update. I'm happy to announce that special rules called ordinances can now be enacted here on Lutra. Oh, they carried that over from uh, New Leaf. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I have never played Animal Crossing New Horizons on uh, YouTube or Twitch or anything like that. I've only ever done it casually. So you're all seeing this for the first time. Ordinances are a great way to help improve the everyday lives of all of our residents. They're quite a lot of responsibility, however, and anyone enacting one should understand everyone's needs. That's why our resident rep, Artie, will be in charge of ordinances on Lutra. You know, the guy who hasn't left his house in two years? <laughs> it's gonna be him! <laughs> How exciting! Artie, if you're listening, I can't wait to see what you'll change! <laughs> this is a flashback she gave this, like, two years ago when they actually made the ordinances update, and then it's like, everyone's like, we don't have an ordinance yet. Are you sure? Are you sure you can't put in someone else like Tom Nook Church? No! It's gotta be Artie! He rules the island. <laughs> if anyone has any questions about ordinances, please come and see me at Resident Services. Moving on, I'd like to tell everyone about a new kind of tour available. Starting today, residents can go on a boat tour to uninhabited islands. These tours are a little different than the ones they offer at the airport. You'll get to board a boat and enjoy the ocean breeze as you make your way to your destination. There are lots of uninhabited islands out there that can only be reached by boat. Didn't they already have this? Rumor has it there are plenty of DIY materials on these islands and even strange fiends buried in the ground. Sounds mysterious, doesn't it? These boat tours are available once a day using miles. Interested residents should head down to the island pier and speak to the boat captain. Is it going to be Captain? He wasn't in the game. I hope it's Captain. <laughs> I should have a big beard. <laughs> I hope so. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Nice! I hope our guest is able to see what it is what it is that makes Lutra such a special place. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. She didn't even comment that I hadn't logged in in two years. <laughs> for those of you who are wondering, I named my island Lutra. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's quite some bedhead. <laughs> Death better. I named the island Lutra after the book The Pearls of Lutra from Redwall, and I have made my town kind of look like Redwall. So, right now my house and the main resident services area are in Redwall Abbey. Alright, Nook Inc. 
Hill already were happy to announce that all fees for relocating or changing the exterior of your home have been reduced. Okay. Message for coming. You can now redeem miles for storage shed DIY recipes. These sheds will allow you to access your home storage from anywhere. All right, this message is for customers who paid off all their loans. You can now redeem miles for an ABD, letting you access the bank of your Nook account whenever you want. I used to have a shirt that looks exactly like the Smash Bros. hoodie that I'm wearing, so... Hey, Artie, how's Island Life been treating you? Groovy? Me too. There's a little something I want to tell you about, though. I'll be waiting here on Harv's Island. Harv's Island was so stupid. They better have put something new in it. Dear Artie, has it really been a year since you joined the Deserted Island Getaway Package? Um, it has been a lot more than that. <laughs> it has. This calls for a celebration. Hope you'll continue to enjoy Island Life as much as you enjoy this cake. Put that in my pocket. Look, Inc. Wow, we're pleased to announce that you can offer an optional service to further expand storage. <laughs> these are all these old alerts. This is going to be take forever. 21,181. Rank B. Excuse Ooh, me, my house is more than a B. cake? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you for maintaining your balance of nook. We appreciate and you've earned interest of 9,999 bells. Cool. Mom! Artie, my dear Artie, do you remember when we first met? Of course not, silly, but it was on this very day. If that's not cause to celebrate, I don't know what it is. Happy birthday from Mom. Aw, that's so nice. Can I take the present out of here? Yes, I can. <laughs> Two-year-old cake. Cake doesn't go bad. <laughs> Cake never goes bad. Hey, Artie, it's Gulliver. Spoiler warning for the end of the letter. Please accept this gift of, from big old me. Uh, thank you for saving me. It probably has a more peaceful voyage to your island than I did. I'm jealous. Are all of these old letters? I refuse to believe I only got, like, ten letters. Oh, well. Beep, beep, beep. Mom's homemade cake. Okay. Can I show it off? What does it look like? Oh, dude! That looks so good! Two years has done nothing on it. It's Coco! I've missed you, Coco! Ari! I wondered whatever happened to you! You haven't been home and no one's seen you around! I was worried about you, USA! <laughs> I'm so glad you seem okay, though! Coco, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some people think Coco looks creepy. I think she looks amazing. <laughs> How can I help you, USA? USA! I want to chat. Your house has a basement, too? They say you can never have too much storage. I'm so envious. She also doesn't have pupils. Or lips. That's okay. She's a sweetheart. Alright. Oh my gosh, I got a sombrero in the mail. Oh, dude, that looks so good. I love it. Do, 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 do. The first anniversary cake. This better look different than Mom's cake. It does! Oh my gosh, look at that cake. Sweet. I also have the Dunklesaurus and the desk mirror. Let's check out my house. She's wearing a rabbit version of the spooky mask. Yes, well, she's meant to look like a gyroid. I can't believe there are cockroaches in my house after two years! This cannot be. Oh my gosh. I was wondering what food to put at the Great Feast in Redwall Abbey, but now I know. Wait, that's a different color cake than it was! It was green when I was outside, and now it's yellow! Well, there we go. The Feast of Redwall has starting to get its items back. Excellent. Excusez-moi, your wait is over. I, Klaus, have arrived. I didn't invite you over. But okay. <laughs> hey, Togo Bear. Okay, okay, et tu. Oh my gosh, you're wearing Matthias's habit. Yes, yes. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Good, that was my primary goal. I wanted to make sure you were still alive after two years. <laughs> Come on in, Klaus. I just got two new cakes. You can help yourself. You're going to be so delicious. Okay, the sombrero is awesome. But also, I like having my, my hair like this. If his name is Klaus, I need to do a German accent. Final try. <laughs> that reminds me, I have a little gift for you. I hope it's to your taste, you fabulous gourmand. Is that just a peach? Isn't that our native fruit? 
I mean, hey, he did bring food to the feast, so... It's rude to redecorate when you have company since when? He's a Roman bear named Klaus. But he, he lives in Britain, so... <laughs> I don't know how to do a Roman accent, either. I don't know what that would sound like. <laughs> well, this is so weird. I was just thinking about you, and then the next thing I knew, I was here. Hope you don't mind, et tu. I don't, I don't know what that sounds like. I've, I've only seen Ameri like one episode of American Dad, and it was possibly the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's like, hey, you know Family Guy? It's like, yeah, I don't like Family Guy. Well, this is even worse! It's like, okay. Your mom's homemade cake gives the room a real homey feeling. It's like I'm hanging out in a blanket. I feel so warm, so cozy. I don't ever want to leave. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> I'll leave eventually. He just he just came over on invite. I I can't even blame him cuz he was probably just checking up on me after 2 years. He's like his home is finally unlocked. He is alive. Uh where can I go to yeah. Ready to wrap things up? No, no, I'm keep I'm going to keep playing. <laughs> you have an amazing new place to eat. Oh, is it is it a Mexican restaurant? Sure hope so. Uh, where are my custom designs? Yes. <laughs> so I have a bunch of the Mega Man Robot Masters. <laughs> and I mean a bunch of the Mega Man Robot Masters. I have fruit patterns here so I can denote which trees belong well, to which fruit. <laughs> and my town flag is the Tapestry of Martin the Warrior. <laughs> For, again, from Redwall. I also have the Smash Bros. hoodie, Edgeworth's coat, Phoenix Wright's coat, Max's dragon shirt, the Charlie Brown shirt, Matthias's Redwall habit, the Peter Fox hoodie from Foxrod, and Jeremy's shirt from the Zitz comic. <laughs> oh yeah, most Mo's is good. Best Mexican food ever? Definitely not. Well, I should probably hit the road at two. Alright, see you later. Thanks for checking up on me. Hey, I had lots of fun today. Thanks for the memories. Max's dragon shirt is indeed from Max and Ruby. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> I was gonna be, this is just going to be one person after another being like, You're alive! We must hang out! <laughs> Let me tell you what, after... Oh yeah, the Redwall Kitchens. Get out of here, cockroaches. Uh, yeah, having been to California and Texas, I can tell you that you haven't really had true Mexican food in America until you've gone been one, to one of those areas. In the Midwest, like, nothing can compare to those. I refuse to, I was about to be... I refuse to believe there was only one cockroach per room. Here you are. Smoosh. I actually forget what my house looks like entirely. I know I'm trying to make it Redwall Abbey, so I think this might be the... In Oh yeah, I think I'm planning to make this the infirmary, but I don't have anything related to the infirmary yet, so that's making it difficult. Shadow Man, Best Man. My favorite Robot Master is actually Quick Man. Uh, unpopular opinion, I know, but I, I really, really like Quick Man and his stage. Well, yes, I am the only person in the world who likes that. Got the gatehouse here. Once I can get some library bookshelves, I'll be putting them all over the place. Do. Artie's hot take of the night. I think we'll have a couple of those, just depending on how things go here in New Horizons. <laughs> and then I've got the dormitory upstairs, with all the beds. Oh, and I have I have the workshop up here as well. Hopefully, as I get my villagers' photos, I say that as if I'm still trying to get my villagers' photos, I can put them over here. <laughs> I have Jack's portrait on the wall. <laughs> that definitely fits the red wall feel, right? Do, 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 do. There's Japanese comics for Mega Man? That is interesting. I'm not sure if I knew that. It... Should I change up my look with the wooden table mirror? Sure. Oh, did they add new hair colors? I don't really want to... Oh, wait, no. I don't want to change my physical appearance. I want to change my outfit. Oh, I need, I need the wardrobe to change my outfit. Because it is summertime. 
Because I, I had dressed my guy up for the fall. Hence the long pants and the long shirt. More cockroaches? <laughs> Knock off Mega Man games in Chicago. Interesting. Let's get changed. I must have a pair of shorts in here somewhere. Oh, I do love the flame tee. The flame tee looks so cool. So does the number one shirt. <laughs> the leather jacket. Or I could do a custom shirt like Max's dragon shirt. The Explorer shorts are fine. Do I have a different pair of shorts, maybe? <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> oh my gosh, I can get the hater shades. Oh no, no, those, those, I'm definitely wearing those. <laughs> yes, yes. Wait, no! Oh my gosh, I pressed B instead of A, so I didn't actually change. Okay. I'm actually going to forgo the flame tea. We're definitely getting these. And oh, I missed the shorts. <laughs> or uh, no, outdoor shorts. I think outdoor shorts are going to be. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, no, no, no. We got to have the Aloha shorts. Nook shop? No, not nook shopping. I wanted the custom patterns. We're wearing Max's dragon shirt. Uh oh, nook miles plus. I forgot about these. I changed my outfit. I got 150 nook miles. Man, this is all coming back to me. Dude, it's almost like I never left. Except there are cockroaches everywhere, and everyone forgets who I am. <laughs> Uh, generally, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, I do not do custom music for the randomizers there. And naturally, the sellers are going to have some cockroaches. I think that's just fitting. Oh, dude, now you're giving me nostalgia. I remember Boomerang back when it was cool. <laughs> Sounds like your family reunion. <laughs> wow. Do, 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 do. Actually, it is nighttime, so me wearing these the sunglasses are literally just me being like, <laughs> look how cool. <gasps> Pretty! There was a freaking scorpion right outside my house! Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> you get the second job as my personal paparazzo guru? Uh, let's chat. Going bugging. You know, bug hunting, bug catching, bug gathering, whatever you call it. Whoa! Something tells me I'm in the presence of a bug catching legend. Is it true, guru? Uh, yeah, you definitely didn't see me fail to catch that scorpion. <laughs> Are you the one the bugs speak of in hushed tones? You know it. So there are weeds down here, but I actually intentionally put weeds here, because this is the Abbey Pond. It's a feature. We got the beautiful rose gardens. Oh my gosh! K.K. Snyder's here! I totally forgot! Wait. No, I did forget. This is not Saturday. And yes, I have Octavian. Well, great. Now I'm seeing ghosts. Suppose it was only a matter of time. Yeah. Hey, not now. Your youthful vigor seems awfully familiar. Oh, Artie? Well, ain't you a sight. You were gone so long, we didn't know what to think. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks, Octavian. Joey! Dang! Look, it's been one year and nine months, but my snack buddy Artie is back! I never forgot you. I've even saved snacks for us to eat together. Some are stale, but we can still eat them. 
Yes, Joey! I've missed you, buddy. Woohoo! Hedwig is telling me that there's some new news that I haven't read in a while. Good news! We placed a tape deck in front of resident services so you can enjoy group stretching sessions. Oh. That's... They brought that back? There's the bug off! <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> November 26th is Turkey! Oh my gosh! They didn't post anything from 2020 until 2022. The whole town was just frozen in... in cryonis until then. <laughs> if it isn't that cool cat who puts the hep in my step, Artie, you ready for me to wail? Uh, thanks, but not now. I need to t remember what songs I have. Whatever you say, catch you next time. It's a tape deck for group stretching. Let's not stretch. No, I want the actual... <laughs> yeah, town flag, tapestry of Martin in the warrior. <laughs> If you guys don't know Redwall, it's a, it's a great book series, and it got a PBS TV show adaption. Ah, Artie, hello, hello. Say, I sent you a notice about this through the mail already two years ago, but you can expand your home storage even further now. Exciting, hmm. Just like last time, you'll need to pay the construction fees up front. With a few additional upgrades, we could boost your maximum storage by a considerable amount. So if you want to expand your home storage even further, come find me, and we can talk about your home. First, my girl, Isabel. Hey, Izzy. Oh, Artie, good evening! Oh, yeah! As I said in the broadcast two years ago, we can now enact ordinances, special rules that change things about the island. The Evers and I decided that, as our resident representative, you should be in charge of our ordinances. That was a really big mistake. <laughs> this means you can enact or dismiss any ordinance to try and make life here on Lutra easier. Whenever you want to talk about ordinances, just let me know what you want to review <laughs> the island features. Now then, how can I help you today? All right, uh, review island features. Is there anything specific you'd like to talk about? Discuss ordinances. You want to talk about ordinances for Lutra? Sure! At the moment, we don't have any ordinances in effect on Lutra. Enacting an ordinance means lots of paperwork. We'll need 20,000 bells as a collaboration and filing fee. What? We're literally just signing in legislature. Do you want to get started and enact an ordinance? Yes, please. Okay, which ordinance would you like to enact? Is this like New Leaf where I can only get one? And, okay. Oh, it's the same one. So, Beautiful Town Ordinance keeps things spick and span when I'm not playing. Early Board Ordinance means stuff opens earlier but closes earlier. Night Owl's the opposite. It opens later, closes it later. And then Bell Boom basically means everything costs a bit more, but you can also sell stuff for more. I'm going Beautiful Island. That way I don't have to play the game religiously. For this one, we'd ask folks to pitch in with the weeding, watering flowers, and clearing trash from our waters. Would you like to enact the Beautiful Town Ordinance? Yeah. Understood! I'll get everything ready. The beautiful island ordinance will go into effect tomorrow. Can I help you with anything else? No, I'm good. Alright, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, don't hesitate to ask. Isabel is very cute. <laughs> this is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? Uh, about my home. Time to talk about your home, hmm? What shall we discuss? Expand my storage. Ready to expand your home storage yet again? Yes, yes, of course. It should be said again, the greater the expansion, the greater the complexity, the greater the cost. Like last time, you cannot take a loan to cover the fee, so you'll need to pay 700,000 bells in advance. Do you want to pay 700,000 bells now and begin your latest... Yes, let's do it. I love your enthusiasm, but I'm afraid I have to remind you that the entire fee must be paid up front. You don't appear to have the full amount with you at the moment. I know that's a lot of bells to carry around, but please come back once you have the full amount with you. Okay. Next question. Do I even have the full amount with me? Welcome to Nook and the Stop and Shop. Once per day, accessing this gives you this. Oh, boy. Please select from the following. Uh, let's... No, not... Re no, no, no. That's wrong. No. Please select from the following services. A, B, D. <laughs> I wonder if we have enough, folks. Yeah, jump change. Please select from the following services. No. <laughs> No. Nah. 700 fast bells. Chump change. This is the construction consultation center. I have the money. <laughs> Wonderful. We can do anything if you give me the money. 700 fast bills. Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. I'll start the paperwork right away. I believe that I'll have everything finished by tomorrow morning. Oh, this is so exciting. He just loves the money. What will I take? People just put all these flower bags in here. We gotta plant them. Oh, and a rusted part. That's important, too. 
Somebody left their pants in here! That's not okay. Cardboard box. Cardboard box. What else do we have? Cardboard box! Cardboard box! Everyone's losing their cardboard boxes around here. It's so strange. I don't know why I picked up somebody else's pants. It's probably not the best idea, but oh well. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a guy. <laughs> Yo, dudes, what's up? It's nighttime already. Take those sunglasses off. No way, man. It's summertime. Oh my gosh, I forgot about, uh, like, <laughs> I forgot about U of M Lion. Is that you, Maximum? No way, it's been like, whoa, one year and nine months? I swore if I ever saw you again, I'd make you do 10,000 squats. But you could do those later. Right now, I'm just pumped to see you again, USA! <laughs> I call this guy U of M Lion because he's wearing a sports jacket that resembles the University of Michigan jacket. Just of an N instead of an M. Hey, uh, is it waiting the train in time? I want to chat. When it comes to sports knowledge, I'm your guy. Did you know the euphoria you get after a long run is called a runner's high? Just like the feeling you get after a thousand pole vaults in a row, it's called a pole vaulter's high. I, I don't think that's right. Oh, that's right. Here's the shortcut for the island menu. For all of your tool stuff. Gotta pick up those weeds. Honestly, I was fully expecting my town to be an absolute dump. I am pleasantly surprised that that is not the case. Shook! Oh, look, I dug up a fossil! I can't carry anything. Let's swap it. Oh yeah, we can just plant the flowers here. Do, 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 do. So as you can see, I have just a couple of flowers on my island. You know, nothing too big. Nothing too fancy. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Rodney. What? Is it really you? After all this time? I was so worried. You just left without even saying goodbye. Well, I guess that's ancient history now. I'm just glad you made it back, Guru. Why is everyone calling me Guru? I don't remember doing that. Looking for a rap session with old Rodney, eh? What's the latest? The outfit you're wearing is really unusual. In a good way. And you design it yourself, you say? Very impressive. Shocking folks with original design is a lost art, if you ask me. <laughs> a lot of people have some strong opinions on the Animal Crossing villagers. There's only a small handful that I truly hate. Looking at you, Gabby. Gold! Oh, how wonderful. Alright, enjoy your dinner. I don't like how the flowers are growing on my path. But, ah, uh, well, what you gonna do? Again, I fully expected my town to just be a forest. Oh, boy. Here we see what I believe is a longhorn beetle. And chukrunk! I got a citrus longhorn beetle. Orange, you happy for me? Oh, I've missed the puns. Whose house? Oh my gosh, wait. Whose house is this? Is this... That's right, Lobo! Ooh, I'm the ghost of Artie's past. I've come to haunt you, Lobo. You know, you remind me of a kiddo who used to go around here stirring up all sorts of trouble. I think their name went something like Artie. <sighs> I ain't seen him in quite a spell. You really look like him, though. It's bordering on uncanny. You're Artie, ain't ya? Well, how have you been, you old boot? Really had me turned around. Careful where you're going, okay? Don't be knocking all my stuff over. What you doing? What, this fiend? I'm making some stacked semen zaki barrels. What the butts? 
It's tough, but I've got ages of patience. Reckon you need to be in that, that DIY. Ow! Wanna try making the stacked Senzamazagate barrels I came up with? Here, I can run you through the basics. Ain't nothing to it. Yes, please. I hope in the update they fixed... So, it's really dumb. In the old version that I played, uh, it was really stupid where, like, once per day, a villager would be making a DIY project. And if you if it was a recipe you hadn't made, you hadn't ever learned before, you could either say, yes, I want the recipe, or no, I don't. If they were making a recipe you already did know, your options were, yes, I want a duplicate, or yes, I want a duplicate. You could only say yes for the duplicate, but you could say no for the non-duplicate, which was ridiculously stupid. Seems like your pockets are full. Why don't you go clean some room and we'll get the exchange going. Well, you know, it's been two years. Let's eat something. Sure, you're back for my DIY project. You hate the bugs in this game, but the bugs are how you make money. Should it be too tough to make? Oh, bet it's a cinch for you, Artie. Let's learn. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for the stacked Sazamanaki barrels. And also, outside my house is a whole bunch of recipes that are duplicates, and there's not really any easy way of getting rid of them. So, yep. That's about where we are. Oh my gosh, Mobius just started playing Chips Challenge. Whoa, bugs! I caught an Earth-boring Dun Beetle. It's not boring at all. I forget which ones I've already donated to the museum, so this will be fun. Uh, bugs aren't so bad. Well, some bugs are bad. Shoot! Oh. Darn, I think that was the Jewel Beetle, too. <laughs> Just got the Jack-O-Lantern trio up there. We probably need to visit the shop, because I got some stuff to sell. Wow, I got a fossil! Oh, I hope the store's not closed. Nah, it's not closed. It still looks cranny. I wish you could upgrade it in this. But it's the same old shop. Hello, hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. Artie, welcome, welcome. They don't seem bothered that they haven't seen me in two years. Alright, I'd like to sell this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and a cardboard box, and, uh, not the manila clams. That's fine. I can, you, I want those. Look at all the fine fiends. Well, crunching the numbers, we can buy these for 15,000. Yes, please. Nook Miles. Oh my goodness. You got Nook Miles. Oh my gosh, wait, there's like an all-you-can-eat buffet f <laughs> thing that I could buy. At this point, I have no idea what I've bought and what I haven't, but I've also given up on giving, getting 100% in Animal Crossing games, so I just buy what I think looks cool. Look, I dug up a thousand bells! do 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 That's right, I forgot I also have pumpkins growing in my town as well. Look, I dug up a fossil! Da, da, da. Whose house is this? Olaf's house? I don't remember having an Olaf in my town. He's not a snowman in this game. Who is he again? Oh yeah, he's an anteater! Ah, oh, it's the ghost of Artie! Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You've been gone for so long. Oh, but seriously, you're not an actual ghost, right? Alright, you got my attention. What's up, Wiffa? You know how some folks pretend that they don't like to gossip. Ha! <laughs> I'm up front! I love gossip. So, I heard this from someone on Lutra. The rumor is that your favorite hobby is writing. Yes? Uh... I mean... 
my favorite hobby is streaming, but that wasn't an option. So out of the options they gave you, yep. <laughs> to be honest, the appeal of writing has never been clear to me. But if you're into it, it must be worthwhile, Artie. Well, that was nice of you. And how's the hot tub keeping you? I must admit, I'm a little jealous you got a jacuzzi in your house. And a pool table! Dude, this guy's got it all! Uh, dude, what the heck? This guy is living it. <laughs> he should be an Antonio. Well, he's what I got. I also have a someone in the campsite. And depending on who it is, I might try to convince them to swap places with somebody else. Oh, also, we should hear. Uh, we should get a reminder of what KK psalms I have because I do not have them all. And I think I have a radio on. Yeah. All right. Do we have KK West? We do have KK Western. We have a lot of the KK Psalms. KK Adventure, KK Birthday, KK Blues, KK Bob, so we do... Aha! I know one we don't have. I'm actually not sure if we actually will get a KK Psalm on Tuesday or not, but... Ooh! Do you see what I see? It's a my I'm a stag beetle. So you in the mood for a tune? Let's hear it. Cool, cool. Any requests? I could dial up an old favorite, or you could just tell me how you're feeling. I give me this one song. Hit me with that deep cut. What's it called? Give me KK Country. Groovy, then how about you cop a seat and I can get started? Oh, shoot. I should have sat next to Coco. Right on. I'm ready. I'm tuned up and ready to roll. Who's in the mood for a little KK country? <laughs> Everyone's pointing out a glow stick. Oh, this is great. We're seeing the credits, guys. We beat the game. This is weird. You don't normally get KK songs on Tuesday. Oh, this is adorable, though. So I think you can only have ten villagers in your town. So we have seen these four. We've seen Lobo. We've seen Antonio. We've seen Rodney. Oh! Oh, I think you guys are going to flip when you see one of the villagers I have. I mean, if you didn't already flip for Octavian. <laughs> Aw. I feel I'm filled with such a warm feeling right now. So nostalgic, and it feels like I never left, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you, KK. Copyright Nintendo. We just speed ran the game.
Right on, man. Why don't you give your pockets a glance? I slip you a boot of the show. That was, like, unreal. Thanks for tuning your dial in my direction. And then they all sit back down for another song, but we got other things to do. Hey, bro, you're never gonna, you're gonna, never gonna believe it. I got, a, <laughs> I got a copy of KK Country. Nice. Oh, hey! Message in a bottle. To the reader of this message, I fought up the DIY recipe while I was waiting for my oven to heat up. Why does that take so long? I tried the recipe myself and loved it, so it seemed worth sharing out. The recipe's yours to try now. Chevre, handcrafts lover. What is this? A bamboo floor lamp. Cool, that was new. So often I get DIY recipes, I'm like, I learned that ages ago. Also, shachunk! You can pole vault in this, which is pretty cool. Anka. I have Anka in my town, one of the most uh, coveted villagers. There she is! Boo! Oh, nice to meet you. Wait, Artie! Is that really you? My word, where have you been all this time? Why would you neglect the island like this? I hate to sound needy, but we've been so lonely without you, tut tut. <laughs> I made her say tut tut, like King Tut. I think I know what that something is, but, ugh. Is there something else you need, tut tut? Lay it on me! Why, Artie, you simply must tell me about this new reality show I've been watching. It delves deep into the wild and crazy life of a beloved yet controversial table tennis star. Of course, I don't normally go in for stories about table tennis, but I confess I find the show enthralling. It nearly inspired me to try the sport myself. Alas, I'm allergic to sweating. I suppose it just wasn't meant to be. Anka's got a cool house, though. I wish we could go in. Alright, it's, it's the little hermit crab. Man, it's so surreal being back in my town. I know I've said this a bunch, but like it really is. All right, we got it. We got to try out our fishing hand as well. I used to be great at fishing. I was actually really good at fishing in. Oh my gosh, a red snapper! It looks pretty dapper. Every bug in the game jump scares you. I get if the tarantula and scorpion and bees do, but even the regular ones? You must really not like bugs in real life, Ivor. <laughs> I dug up a fossil. Man, the museum's gonna have a heyday with these. It's a phobia. Eh, I get... I feel like everybody has, like, one type of living creature that they're not so fond of. Like, I'm not super fond of fish. They're kind of weird. I'm not, like, crazy about bugs, either. But <laughs> oh, yeah, I have the camping set right next to a vending machine. You know, just in case they need... Just in case they need to do the do, you know? All right, who's in the campsite? Who's in the campsite? Someone cool? <gasps> It's freaking Zucker. That's a bunch of fun camping on this island. The air smells good like food. I want to bite it, bloop. <gasps> I need him in my town. I need him in my town. Camp to camp on the island because I had a dream I lived here and I had fun every day. What do you think about my dream, Artie? <laughs> Make it a reality. Huh? I can move here. That'd be super cool, but... A bug family just moved into my bathroom walls back home, and I really want to get to know them. Thanks for inviting me, though. I had a lot of fun here. Bloop. No. No, I want Zucker. Yeah, Zucker's an octopus that literally looks like octopus sushi. But it's amazing. Come on, Zucker, please! Best thing about camping is making new friends and new lands. I met a new bug friend today, and I invited him to bring their family over for snacks later. I try real hard to make sure I don't forget anything when I go camping. 
I got my tent, my jammies, my pillow, my blankie, my stuffed best friend, Bugface for cuddling. This guy loves bugs. He's the opposite of you, DX. I got my potato chips, my tomato chips, my pickle chips, my shrimp chips, my chocolate chips, my spicy chips. I got everything I need to be comfy except for my TV. I forgot my TV! Oh, man. Oh, man. You can hear way more outside noises in a tent than in a house. And I can hear way more house noises when I'm in a tent inside instead of outside. But I never hear tent noises, no matter where I put it. Sometimes science is weird bloop. <laughs> I know, this guy's amazing. <laughs> I want him. I picked this up as a place to go after I threw a handful of jelly at a map, and it mostly splattered here. <laughs> Camping sounded like much more fun than cleaning up my map, so I came here. <laughs> this place doesn't have any jelly maps, but it has real nice folks. I'm not ready to go home tomorrow. <laughs> Come live here. What? I can live here? That'd be super cool, but I got bugs back home that are waiting to see me. I can't just leave them. Man, thanks for the invite, but I'm real sorry. I gotta head home. It means a lot that you ask. No. <laughs> don't. Please, sucker. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I really wanted to move to my town even though I never play the game anymore. <laughs> Please, we gotta come here! He's like, I know there's a crocodile to your doofus. Oh, alright. Hey, what's your favorite food, man? Man, isn't this tent great? It's a real easy one that you pull out of your pocket and pop right up. The hard part's when I gotta go home. It's real hard to fold up! I don't think I could do it alone, Bloop. Hey, do you want to play a little game with me? If you win, I'll give you my tube top as a pri- Um... Okay? <laughs> cool. Okay, let's start then. Do you need me to explain the rules, Blue? Uh, no, I think I can guess the rules. Okay. First, I'm going to mix up all the cards real good. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So, is the pattern on this card I just drew red? Or black? Red. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is... Diamond! That's red! You got it right! Oh wow, you win! Already, like I promised, here's my tube top. I don't... Um, did you bring, like, another change of clothes? Nope! <laughs> that was great! <laughs> I lost my fame, but I still have fun. Let's play again sometime, Bloop. I like how he's just casually drinking some juice. Camper food's all about s'mores, chocolate graham crackers, and a toasty marshmallow. Man, I wish I could eat s'mores at home. Too bad there's no way to toasty a marshmallow without fire. I've only been here a day, but I love the island almost as much as peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. I hope they get to live on an island like this one day, Bloop. Move here! <laughs> oh, really? Oh, man, that's a real cool offer, but I gotta pass this time. My snacks are waiting for me back home, and so are my friends. Thanks for inviting me. Means a bunch, Bloop. Okay, I don't think he's gonna... Oh! I hate it when they do that. They tantalize you with, like, the really cool villager. Then in the meantime, it's like, hey, you want ugly chicken? No. Well, ugly chicken desperately wants to move here. It's like, Duck. <laughs> I love how the Animal Crossing tier lists are literally just how it... You just gotta keep at it? I I don't know. I asked him three times and he refused. I also don't think I even have room for him in my town. No, no. I want to keep playing. How do I bring up the map? How do I bring up the map again? Oh, here's the map. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> no, we do have a spot open. Oh, wait, no, we don't. Oh, that's right. I have Flora in my town. We haven't seen Flora yet. Honestly, if we have to swap with another villager, I'd be up for that. Because, I mean... Zucker's just the best. All right, I'll keep I'll keep at it. I'll keep talking to him. Oh my gosh, he's eating a donut now. I freaking love this dude. Hey, we're trying real hard to make sure I don't forget anything when I go camping. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's just repeating the same dialogue. Let's just keep pestering him. 
You're drinking straw glass? He's just gambling away his tomorrow's outfit. I'm gonna mix up the cards real good. Is the pattern red or black? Let's go red. Oh my gosh, it's a heart! Yay! We get his drinking straw glasses. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Came to camp on this island. I dreamed of living here. I think let's make it a reality. I could move here. That'd be super cool. But the bug family lived into the bathroom walls. Man, he is obsessed with bugs. Camp, it's all about the s'mores. You can hear way more outside. Yeah. Come on, Zucker. I really want you in my town, even though I probably won't play after you, uh, move in. <laughs> Come live here. Moving sounds like a lot of work, but I get to hang out with you more. I can't decide! Wait, I got an idea! Let's play a game that requires no effort! If you win, I'll move. Let's do it. Alright, let's get started on the card game showdown game. That you play with cards! <gasps> Oh my gosh, so much writing on this. Alright, which of these patterns? Heart, diamond, spade, or club is on this card? What? It's a one in four? Oh no. It's a one in four chance. It's not even a 50% chance. Oh, this is bad. Mm, well, Zucker did steal my heart. He's a real diamond. But I gotta say, I really want him to join my club! Let's see what the answer is. Oh, it's the one I didn't mention! It's a spade! Ah, no dice. I win! Guess I'm not moving this time. What a fun way to spend however long that took, Bloop. You only get one chance at it, don't you? I think you only get one chance at it. Oh, you can try again? Want to play a little game? I'll give you... <laughs> if, you win the, the, if you win this game against me, I'll give you my homework. <laughs> yes, please. Cool, let's start... No, 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 I'm good. All right, first I'm going to mix up the cards real good, like... All right, which of these patterns is on the club? I want you to join my club. It's spade again. I win, that means no dice. I am so excited, I forgot the brief. I get all nervous when I'm checking the results. We're getting him in my town. Move here! You lost the game! You just really want me to move here since you're inviting me again, but moving's hard! Let's do something but You play a game, and if you win, I'll move here! Yeah, why not? Right, let's get started with the card game showdown you play with cards. Oh, this is great! <laughs> Alright, which of these patterns is on it? Join my club. Darn it, it's freaking spade again! <laughs> How does it keep being a spade? Three times in a row. Make it a reality. I can live here. Oh, no. The bugs. This guy's like, help. <laughs> the leader of this... <laughs> I come out of my two-year hibernation, and the first thing I do is harass a camper. <laughs> like, this is this is outright harassment right here. Thankfully, he doesn't mind. He's just like, I just want to eat my donut in peace, bro. Please. <laughs> no, Zucker. You're moving here. You can bring your bug friends. We're bug friendly in this town. We love bugs, especially selling them for high amount of money. Move. That's a cool offer. I gotta pass. <laughs> Come live here. I can move here. Oh no! <laughs> He's like, man. When is he going to take the hint? I stacked the deck so it's all spades. <laughs> Come on, Zucker, please. <laughs> hey, I know we just met, and this might sound crazy, but I really feel like you should move here. So move here, maybe. You're fighting me again, Boop, this is hard. I don't know what to do. We'll play a game. I'm going to keep picking freaking club until it's club. Join my club. If it's spade again. <gasps> yes! The answer's club! You got it! That means you win! Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. I still gotta talk to resident services and get permission, Bloop. 
Oh, I should also call Grandma and tell her I'm going to miss dinner too, Bloop. <laughs> I think we don't have enough space. Sorry for the wait. I went to talk to the resident services folks here. They said there's no more room to build property on this island, so I can't move here. But I could always ask another resident to swap with me if that's cool. If you de Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, it will be okay if I talk to Olaf. I, if I was at resident services, someone mentioned his name, so go for it. That's fine. I'll happily take that swap. Okay, I'd be nervous, but I got no idea who they even are, so they can't make me nervous. Off I go. <laughs> that's one way to think about it. I used all my courage and asked someone to change their whole life. For me, Zucker, a guy they don't even know. Oh, by the way, my name's Zucker. Hi. Anyway. Oh, I've said okay! He said he was already thinking about moving anyway because of all the night clowns. And the fact that their mayor was in a hibernation for two years and didn't put in any ordinances. <laughs> I decided not to get into it. My point is, I can move here now. So get ready, Artie. Also, are there a gang of night clowns going around and spawning people with pies? Oh my gosh, we got Zucker! Marty is going to be so jealous. I told you, only Coop. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I think we just gotta. <laughs> One feed for this. Yeah! It looks like I'm just beating my chest. Let's put the ladder away and do that again. <laughs> the clown fad did kind of end in 2017. They are still present. <laughs> I made I made someone change their entire life. <laughs> Boo! Oh, that's right. I had that for Halloween. When you use your own cunning manipulation in order to get someone to move away from their town and into your town for just pure persistent uh, persistence, over and over again. Where's the one I was looking for? There's one in particular I was looking for. It's like my favorite. It's the smirk. Wait, do you still have the one I was looking for in this? Sleepy, dozing, worry, sighing, sadness, sit down, scare, none of that. Fearful, no aggravation. <laughs> I was so, like, intense. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh, wait, there's a second page. Oh, maybe I don't have it unlocked yet. Oh man, I don't have it unlocked yet. I was really hoping for... I had the one that with, like, the guy, like... Da -da 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 -da. But, no, I don't. Okay, so... Olaf is moving. It's a bit of a shame, because his house... But honestly, Olaf's not so much cool as much as his house is cool. Yes! I caught a star sag! Now I can't see. Oh, I had never caught that before. And my net, uh... Finally, spontaneously combusted. I guess two years later, it's not doing so hot. Look at. <laughs> Looks like I need to make a new net. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, hey, we got a workbench right up here. <clears throat> Should I craft something? Let's craft. Oh, interesting. We need bamboo pieces. Uh. Oh, we need the flimsy net first. All right, let's make the flimsy net. Let's do it. I made a flimsy net. Let's just keep crafting. I made a net. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, and here is the museum. I've been waiting for this. But first... Been waiting for the money one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're already making some good money today. Alrighty, doop de doop de doop de doop 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 de doop de doop doop doop. Oh my gosh! Who made all these weeds appear? Someone was supposed to be picking these weeds and didn't. How dare you? Actually, wait. This one can't have anything in it. Oh no, it can. There are multiple rocks that drop a bunch of stuff out. Yeah. 
It, it was Destiny that I played this game on Tonight of All Nights, and Zucker was visiting. Oh yeah, I forgot about the stinky flowers in uh in New Leaf. Those those were weird. But honestly, the weird the worst part of New Leaf was the bamboo. Where it's like, did you put one bamboo plant in your town? Oh well, next time you play, the town is literally nothing but bamboo. It's like, how about no? It's like yes, <laughs> bamboo. All right, we really need to say hi to our flamingo friend though. So that's Joey's house. I think Flamingo Friend should be inside. Hello? Hello? Oh no, this is Mott's house. Oh, sorry, bro. What's up? Okay, commence Mott's special training. <laughs> Just kidding, USA. <laughs> ah, my wooden simple bed. As you can smell, it soaks up a ton of my post-workout sweat. It's like I'm swaddled in a cocoon of gym socks and old yoga mats. Guess you could say I sleep like a baby. A really muscular baby. USA! USA! <laughs> I did not need to know that, Mott. At least here the bamboo doesn't multiply tenfold every time you save and quit. Where's Flamingo, friend? Maybe she's at the Able Sisters. Oh, wait. Able Sisters are closed. Whoops, should have gone there first. <laughs> I like New Horizons. I think maybe they should go back to the basics for the next Animal Crossing game. And please give the uh, villagers more personality. That's what I really want. I miss the days. Oh, hey, Rodney. I missed the days of the GameCube one where everyone had a lively personality. Hey, Guru! So here's the thing. I'm not a very good dancer. I'm a world-class dancer! Ha! <laughs> but I can't go around telling everyone that. It feels kind of self-important or something. So could you uh, go around telling folks for me? How about you show me you are a world-class dancer, and then I'll tell you. Then I'll tell people. <gasps> oh my gosh, Anka's in her house. We can show off how cool her house is. And yes, I've surrounded her house of golden roses, because she will never leave. <laughs> Dang, this is cool. She has a golden toilet. Hello there, Artie. Sit down, stay a while, make yourself at home, tut tut. Artie, my dear, look! It's the basketball tank I got from you. Yeah, it looks terrible on you. I wish you'd change. You know I hate to boast, but I do look stunning, don't I? And I feel stunning too, tut tut. This is the problem. They always get ugly clothes for me, and they're like, this is the greatest piece of clothes ever. I will never take it off. Like, I guess I could report them to Isabel and be like, change their clothes back to the default, but that just feels like outright harassment. <laughs> be like, I, I alone decide what clothes you are allowed to wear. Me and me alone. Nobody else. Like, I like to think that Lutra is not a dictatorship, like, to, at least to that degree. Remember, I was duly elected as Supreme Dictator, so that makes it okay. Oh, wait, we didn't actually go to the museum. I literally was right there at the museum, but I didn't actually go in. <gasps> Dorsal fin! Dorsal fin means shark. Dude! Yes! I caught a saw shark! You could call it a seesaw! But I can't carry anything else. Um, heck yes, we're swapping it out. I haven't even caught that before. Oh, I ran out of room for tree branches. Can I just wear my sombrero? I'll drop the drinking straw glasses. Oh, hey! Oh, no! Thank you for your service, faithful fishing pole. Let's just wear the sombrero briefly. Pick up the glasses. Oh, 
Also, we still have all these clams. You give Kabuki a ribbon not thinking he'd wear it, and sure enough, he wore it. Yep. Well, so often people will be like, hey, deliver this to so-and-so, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's the most hideously ugly pink, like, jersey you've ever seen. I must wear this every day for the rest of my life. It's like, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Too late. Let's craft. Flimsy fishing pole? Yes, please. Let's keep crafting. Let's keep crafting. I made a fishing pole. We're all done for now. Oh, that's right. More Nook Miles. You made stuff. Congrats. Everyone is here still listening to the KK song. I mean, good for them, I suppose. Was there still a fossil over here that I didn't dig up because I didn't have room for it? There was a couple fossils located over here. Okay, I guess not. We actually have some stuff to donate. So let's head to the museum. You can also check all our fossils for us. Oh shoot, that was, I think, a new bug as well. Because I think I think they added a bunch of new bugs and, like, fish in the game. Since I have played it. The plus one, I forget. It doesn't actually do anything. Uh, wait. I just have a thousand bells here? Put, put that away! Look, I dug up a fossil! What's it to you, toots? Shortcut up to the museum. Alright, blavers. It has been a while, but I have stuff for you. Because I'm the only person in the entire game who will actually donate stuff to the museum. Oh, you're thinking about something. Hmm. Oh! Oh dear, I didn't see you there, Artie. Pardon me, I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought just now. You see, there is a matter which... Ooh -hoo! Actually, your timing is impeccable as ever. Perhaps you could help me. I've been thinking about this for the last two years. See, I was thinking of ways to draw more folks to our museum when I hit upon the idea of adding a cafe. <gasps> a cafe! Brewster can come back! So, I tried to contact Brewster, an old friend of mine who also happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, it seems he's closed up shop and nobody appears to know where he's gone. He's been unemployed for two years. However, in my search, I also caught wind of newly unearthed group of gyroids. They're pretty gyroids back, too. I'm sure everyone here has played this like, duh, Artie, they added them a year and a half ago. And I'm like, this is new to me. Brewster goes positively cuckoo over gyroids, you see, in much the same way as I do around fossils. I'd wager my very wings that Brewster has heard about these gyroids as well. Naturally, you can see where this is going. I would like you to take up the search for Brewster. I'll send a photograph of Brewster to you in the mail shortly. Could you, should you find him, tell him I'd like to, him to come to Lutra. If it helps, the gyroids I mentioned earlier were all found on the islands near where Captain leads his tours. I'm sorry to burden you with this, but I hope you must know I have every confidence in my utmost gratitude. Good luck, Artie. Hoot hoot. Okay, that's that's nice and all that, but uh, I have some fossils I need to assess in. I think it's probably just more amusing that I'm like, Oh my gosh, they did this! It's like, it, that's old news. <laughs> Woohoo, one more than one. Let's take a closer look. Uh, our museum already has these fossils. That's cool. I can sell them. For personal profit. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? I'd like to donate the saw shark and the saw stag. Hey, both saw related. Woohoo, several fiends. Let's take a looky. Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. No need to pull them out. I'll handle the rest. I'm fine. Jolly good. Enjoy the rest of the visit. Are we also Okay, we need to track down Flora the Flamingo, and I'd also like to go on the trip to one of those abandoned islands. Flora might be somewhere in the museum. There she is! Long time no see. Welcome back, Artie! I missed you so bad! 
I was legit so worried you'd never come back here, but you did! Don't worry, I'm still the number one pop star of Lutra. Everybody here has missed you. I'm so glad you're back. That's nice. Artie, do you need something, Pinky? Let's chat. I could stare at bugs all day. Hey, Nan. Are they staring at me, too? I mean, I am pretty cute. <laughs> she just likes hanging out in the bug museum. <laughs> it's interesting, but I'd rather go to the, the reptile area. <laughs> He's just reading, reading the latest, uh, <laughs> latest fan fiction. <laughs> some people enjoy bugs, some people don't. There's nothing really wrong with that. Alright, the sombrero's fun, but... Do, 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 do. It's always annoying when some of the villagers are in the museum because it's so big, but I got lucky and found her on the first screen. Hi, Rodney. Rodney's one of those villagers where I'm like, if he wanted to move out, I'd be totally okay with that. But of course, he is deeply devoted to Lutra and all it stands for, so I don't think that's happening. Okay. That's a tiger beetle. I remember you from New Leaf. I think that's a tiger beetle. I caught a... Oh, no. No, never mind. It's a man-faced stink bug. Uh, same thing. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. I have so much stuff I want to sell. What exactly are you offering? Okay, well, I got uh, this and this and this. I'll sell the tube top I got from Zucker. Actually, no, that's a set that has sentimental value. Sell all this and this and this. I'll sell the torn pants. No, I'm keeping the drinking straw glasses as well. I got those from uh, Mr. Zucker. Look at all the final fiends. And I can buy these for 23,000. That, that was the final moth boss. I've already caught the moth boss. Curious about what's in the cabinet? Oh my gosh, that's the most hideous bathing suit I've ever seen. I need it. Wildest Dreams DIY. Oh, that's right, I've already. These are regular old DIYs. Oh, never mind. Cherries are my town fruit, not peaches. Yeah, the moths generally hang around the lit buildings. Yep, see that moth over there? Just flying around my head. Take that. I caught a moth! And I had a ball doing it! Oh, ho, ho. No, I'm not ready to wrap things up. There's a dock here, and captain's about around. Oh, whoop. Oops, sorry, gold flat. He's Captain! I've missed you, buddy! Now, what have we here? Yours be a face I've not seen before. Name's Captain. What's yours? Artie, is it? Yar, that be nice fancy name, that. Well, I came here to ferry folks on tours to various wee islands in exchange for miles. Might even take you where there be rare treasures. Me tours go to places you can only reach with me boat. I can take you almost any time. Let me know when you're ready to sail. Hmm? You ready to take a tour? Round trip fare will cost you a thousand miles. I am ready to go. Yar, that's a thousand miles then. <laughs> My jewel, the <laughs> man phone. Time to set sail. Watch your step as you hop on board. <laughs> Come here, me arties. <laughs> they brought his songs back. Believe it or not, back in the day, I used to be lean and mean. I 
I love how they brought all this old stuff back. And this is when he drops his off on the island and sails away, laughing evilly. Yeah, we've arrived. This be your first boat tour, eh? The things you gotta be mindful of for me tours be the same as for them fancy airplane tours. I'll spare you the long-winded explanation. I'll be here waiting for you if you be in tools or wanting to set sail for home. Okay. Strolling through the park one day. Shakrunk. In the merry, merry month of May. Ooh. Someone dropped their bottle. To someone on an island out there, our weather was so nice out today that I took a long walk. On my walk, I fought up this DIY recipe. I tried the recipe myself and loved it. So it seemed worth sharing out. I had to make me happy if you used it. Oh, I thought I read that as Bretta. No, Bettina. Handy <laughs> I gotta get over it. Bread a left. I already know this deal. Oh. You used to have Bettina? <laughs> nice. She gave me something I already knew, though, so screw that. Mmm, bugs. Oh my gosh, is that like a slug up there on the roof? Oh wait, that's a pond. I thought those were bugs. A slug, bro. <gasps> Look, I took up a gyroid fragment. That's where we're here for. I can't. I'm very surprised they brought gyroids back. They haven't been a thing since the original. Uh oh. <gasps> it's him. Cool. You out here looking for gyroids too? That's <laughs> that's right. I hope you find a gyroid. Cool. You need something? You know a Brewster. Do I know a who? Cool. You're looking at him. Mind if I ask what you're after? Blavers sent me. I see. I hear you. Tell him that for me. Oh, and also... This is yours if you want it. It's a gyroid fragment. Plant it in the ground. Give it some water and some time. It will grow up strong the next day. Gyroids take root fast when you return them to the ground. What? <laughs> we'll then be seeing you. So is that a yes? Or is that a I'm dodging my past? I'm gonna assume that's a yes. So if we take the gyroids back and plant them like flowers, they grow. A little weird, but alright. Oh wait, oop. Nope. Not there. Nope. Hit it diagonally, please. Boink. I'm surprised my shovel hasn't broken. My fishing pole and my net both broke almost immediately, but not my shovel. Good old reliable trusty shovel. Oh no, I scared the stink bug away. What have I done? Also, I don't think we've actually... Oh, that's right. It's because of the mosquito. I'll just get bit by the freaking mosquito. Otherwise, he will interrupt my rock. Ah, that itch is gonna be a blame mosquito. You can customize your tools to reset the usage. Yeah, may as well just build new ones, though. It's not like the materials are in short supply or anything. Do 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 do. 
<laughs> All right, Brewster. Well, be seeing you. This music reminds me of Pikmin 2, and it's giving me a little bit of a flashback there. <laughs> They're like the shower room. Uh-oh. I didn't actually hit it fast enough. That's okay. Oh, wait, no, I did. Alright. I mean, it doesn't seem anything particularly special. Ooh, wait. Gotta catch them bugs. Caught the sauce tag. I don't really need to hit more rocks. I'm fine with this. Hey, Captain, thanks for taking me. <laughs> hey, I'm ready to go home. Back to Lutre. Remember, there's no returning here later. Do you have all your booty? Yep. And back we go. Be kind to me, old vessel, and mind your step as you hop aboard. I kind of wish they brought Captain's family back as well. No, I'm not sk skipping his psalms. I love his psalms. Dig up anything good today. Okay, that's pretty great. And a good, he did still have his little girl. I was afraid they had retconned her out of existence. Just want to say... I appreciate it. <laughs> I love the intense expression. <laughs> I have the weird emotions. Man, that emotion's certainly nothing to sneeze at. That's right, because I think you can only learn the emotions here if the villagers, like, tell you about them. I want to sell. Alright, sell the moth and the stags. And that actually might be it. Yep. Oh, the stags don't sell for as much as I thought they did. I thought they sold for 3000 apiece. At least they did back in Animal Crossing GameCube. Which I still think might be my favorite of the Animal Crossings. Like, I think you can definitely make an argument that New Horizons or New Leaf is the best, but, uh, man, I have such respect for the GameCube one and what it did. I mean, it has a bunch of NES games just completely in it as freebie extras. So I don't know how much space I need for gyroids to grow, but I think we got some space over here... I want them to be in an obvious place that I can like, oh yeah, I planted the gyroids. Maybe I can plant them in Redwall. Ronnie, if you want to pick those up, like, uh, you can. I, I give you my permission. Oh no, that's right. Redwall is already filled with flowers and, uh, fruit trees. Okay.
Indeed. I, I love Animal Crossing. Y'all, so now those fins are. Oh my gosh, they're breathing smoke at, through the crack. We're literally reviving them in, his, in a Frankenstein esque like revival. Okay, well, then that's not disconcerting or anything. Oh, hey, I got mail. Hold on just a sec, okay? From Blavers. Esteemed Artie, please incline enclosed one mint condition photograph of Brewster. If you seek the actual Brewster, I have it on good authority that he is on a cam tour in search of gyroids. Oh my gosh, I have a photo of Brewster. I can put that in my house. Oh, I don't know about that. I feel like Animal Crossing is one of those games I could not stream that much of. Just because... I would run out of things to say about it. Like, this one was definitely fun because getting to react to all this stuff that I've been gone for from for, like, two years was pretty great. And I got to react to, like, all of this new stuff. I know we didn't get to do exactly all of it, but we did a good amount of it, so. I may end up streaming this again on Wednesday just to, as a continuation, or I may end up playing something else. I have to, I have to figure that out. Who are you still searching for that certain coffee curating Columbi? By which I mean Brewster. I found him. Who would allow me to add, Hoot? Why, that is simply wonderful news. Do tell, what did he have to say? He said, I... Uh, um... I forget the exact thing that he said. I'm not sure if it actually matters in the long run. I think he said, I hear you. Oh, that's simply marvelous news. What a relief. That Brewster is a punctual and precise fellow, so I expect he'll make his way here forthwith. Eh, what? I suppose that means... Oh dear, I must make arrangements for his arrival straight away! Whew! To that end, I'm afraid I'll need to close the museum to all visitors tomorrow for construction. That's fine, I won't be playing this tomorrow. If everything goes as planned, we shall reopen the next day, uh, the day after next with cafe service in place. It is my sincere hope that you will join us for a cup of joe on that date. I think he's telling us we should be playing this on Wednesday as well. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. We can see... Zucker moved in all nice and snug in his new forever home. Because I will not let him leave. <laughs> Artie went full stalker in this episode. And I do not approve of stalkers in real life. I have had to deal with them before, and it is not a pleasant experience. But in this fictitious game where everybody loves each other... It's okay. Also, we should say our goodbyes to Antonio, who I believe is moving out of town this night. That's true. I could do this. Wait, can you do the Dream Towns here as well? Is Dream Lady still in this? I thought she was only a new leaf. You packed up the hot tub and the billiard table real fast. Oh, this is great timing. I was just looking for you. So... I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm moving away from Lutra. I hate this place. It stinks. Thank you for always being a friend. I'll never forget the time we spent together here. You know, like the one day after the two years. I was going to sneeze on him, but... <laughs> Look! Magic! <laughs> If you don't mind, I'm busy cleaning. <laughs> you can sniff people. Ne next stream, I'm just going to be doing inappropriate gestures. <laughs> just be like, I'm going to sneeze on everybody, which definitely is not great after 2020. <laughs> What's like a good... Encouraging. Let's be encouraging. All right. Well, Antonio, it has been nice, but take care. Yeah, he's an anteater, in case you couldn't tell by the long nose.
I'm just gonna sneeze on everyone. It's a fake sneeze, so it's okay. Everyone is still listening to KK's songs. I mean, I know they're cool and all, but hey, Coco. How are you doing, USA? That better have been about me sneezing on people, not about Coco. <laughs> it's lovely to have a goal, don't you think? I'm hoping to run faster, so I've been asking around for advice. You're a rabbit, so that should be easy. As an experiment, I tried running with some gentle yet persistent pushing from Octavian. Not to complain, but that big sweetheart refused to push me very hard at all. It looked like we were out for a pleasant stroll, according to Anka. Oh well, if you have any other ideas, I'm all ears, Rarty. Is that another rabbit pun? <laughs> Oh, I should have buried the gyroids outside of Coco's house. The problem is Coco's house is literally in the upper right corner of the map. Which is a bit out of the way. Rodney's just kind of on his own. Anka's, like, lavishing in her gold palace. Antonio's moving out. Mott is in his house, sweating up the bed. Everyone else is here. And then Flora's just drooling over the bug exhibit. I think she actually secretly wants to eat the bugs since she's a bird. Do flamingos eat bugs? I know they eat shrimp, and that's how they stay so pink. I don't know. But I oh, that was a cool-looking bug, actually. I I should not have scared him away. There are apparently some new bugs and fish that I haven't caught, and maybe some new deep-sea creatures. So I think we absolutely have enough content to do another stream on Wednesday. It'll be a nice, chill stream, and we can just kind of do a follow-up on the stuff. Who knows, maybe I'll actually end up getting back into this game. Not, like, as a like, reoccurring stream series, and not certainly not on an day, everyday kind of thing, but maybe, like, once a week. That could be interesting, because this game is very fun and charming. I do I do enjoy it a whole lot. Ah, just beautiful now. Think, think, think. Is there anything else we should do before we head out? Looking at the map, is there anything that we missed? I don't think so. You try to make your town snazzy enough for Wednesday. <laughs> no, there is no pressure. Your town could be an absolute dump, and that's that's perfectly all right. Like, I mean, I'm amazed my town looks this good. I was fully expecting every square inch to be covered in weeds, and I didn't even have the beautiful town ordinance up and running. So that's really amazing. We go from a game where we are a bug to a big world full of bugs, <laughs> and a game where we're catching bugs. Exactly. Full circle! We also need to find more food, because the, the Red Wall Feast is looking a little empty. Just just a tad. We also gotta do some storage. A wooden wardrobe. Should I change? N well, no. Oh, yeah. Open it up. Oh, is this one of those things you hang on? Are all the photos you hang on the wall? You know, that fits the gatehouse. That fits the gatehouse. I forget how to access my storage. Uh... I thought if you used the wardrobe, you could access your... Um... Am I missing something? <laughs> I literally forget how to access my extended storage. Right arrow? Oh! How do I put stuff in my storage? Oh, just like that. Cool. I completely forgot about that. We're putting the sombrero in storage for sure. We're putting the rusted part in storage and our gold put our tree branches in as well because we've got a second area. Oh yeah, I didn't even chop any wood. That's fine. We are putting the tube top and the drinking straw, straw glasses in storage because those are a special gift from my good friend Zucker. And down arrow to redecorate mode. Oh yeah, I forgot about the redecorating mode. I think this is all kind of left over from the Happy Home Designer game, which I never played in my entire life. Also, apparently, uh, I have Nintendo Switch, like, super online, so I can get the Amiibo update for free. Or maybe it's the Happy Home Designer update. It was one of those updates, so I could also get that as well. I just, I didn't install that because I didn't know how long that was going to take, but 
Oh yeah, we definitely have enough content for the Wednesday stream. For sure. And if things go right, maybe we'll do a Friday stream out of it as well. Let's talk to everyone one more time. How's it going? Looking sharp, kiddo. These paving stones sure class the place up. Yeah, nice. I thought so too. Hey again, you keep checking up on me today, huh? Let's talk! This is it. Today's the final day. Olaf's moving away tomorrow. It's a shame when a friend leaves too soon, but then somebody new usually shows up, and that's neat. Like Grandma says, when one chapter ends, it never begins. Unless it's the end of a book. Then you gotta read a new book so the chapter thing makes sense again. Yep, that's what she says. I know Happy Home Designer is the DLC you have to buy, but I think it comes free with the, like, Nintendo Super Online account, which I actually have. <laughs> that's true, that's the last straw. I'm getting a publicist. <laughs> Wait, this is not his voice. What's up? I don't know about you, but I always get psyched up for a Monday. It's the soft open of the week. See, like right now, I'm working on some DIY, and it's kind of terrible. But wait till you see it on Friday. It'll still be terrible, but it'll have cubic zircona glued to every surface. Ha ha! <laughs> Alright, if that's the case, I do believe we are ready to wrap things up for now. Oh, yes. That was so fun! I was actually happy to play that again. Again, it is a lot trying to make time to play that every single day. But playing it, like, every so often is fun. Save complete. Ski you later! <laughs> time to eat your cake. Yeah! Thanks for, so, thanks for joining in, everybody! I know this is a very different kind of stream than I normally do, but I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys did, too, and it was great chatting with you all. We'll be doing this again on Wednesday. So that'll be pretty cool. And as for Saturday, we'll be starting to S-rank some of those Cuphead DLC bosses. And then next week, Backyard Baseball. And if you've never been to Backyard Baseball streams before, be there. They're so fun. And if you if are there, you get to have a say in which players I get on my team, which is also awesome. So yeah, have a great night, everybody. God bless.